I want to talk about uh, how frustrated I am. There's like millions of people going crazy in Brazil because their country is a piece of shit. Because people are starving. In the U.S., they keep stuffing people so full of corn and dirt cheap fast food on every fourth corner. At least in the big city, that they don't have the willpower i've I've been eating a lot for about five years, too much a lot of times, I think, but I tell you, I haven't been overeating, and when my stomach starts to digest itself, well one. Then it starts digesting my thoughts, and I've really got to think about, I really like it experiencing the thought. But I really start to get agitated. When there's a, a stressful pain in your stomach of a tension, or it's hard to get up and move around, let alone get fired up, chemical charges going off. But I tell you, tit for tat, if you get up, your stomach feels a little better. You can make a movement by moving in a pattern. Sometimes that means doing the same thing over and over or a similar thing, a repetition of some sort. It's still a movement. Obviously, every movement's different. You never repeat anything exactly. Circumstances are different, but it can be pretty close. And that may be boring, but I tell you, that's how you get momentum sometimes. It's like swimming in the ocean, man, one arm after the other, and it doesn't stop. Obviously, you can flip onto your back and swim a different way. I guess a really effective movement is a variable movement. It's not about, in a way it is about, you know, Alex Jones getting angry and just punching it. It's like sometimes I think he gets angry when he's not even angry. But then at the same time, he gets zenned out. So the variety in forming a movement consists of staying healthy physically, being kind to people, to everything, and making movies. I noticed lately that always and never these polarizing ideas that I've been avoiding for years do exist in a confined system which arguably doesn't really exist, but does when you're looking at the world. You get it in bits. And things can always happen within that, and they can never happen within that. It's a ghost of an idea, but it's still very real. So, yeah, it's okay to be idealistic. In fact, I encourage it. Your ideals can come true. And ideally, it won't permeate everywhere. But within the system, affectation will occur. I want to repeal the Federal Reserve and put the printing of the money back in the control of the U.S. government, backed by the faith of the U.S. population. I mean, I'm fired up, but there's a peaceful way 
it's like fire, you know, it's, it's very destructive at times, but life-saving at other times, and still mildly destructing, but life-saving. Like you got to destroy a log, more or less, to produce the heat, but it's worth it, sometimes. Destruction. A little bit of destruction goes a long way. It's kind of like allowing the food in your stomach to be digested. Let your body destroy itself. Destroy the bad stuff. Would you get up and walk with me?